So here's our wiring diagram. We start with the camera. We run with the yellow video output that goes through the entire car. But here they have a nice little plug that has a negative and a positive. The negative I'm going to ground to and then the positive I'm going to connect it to the uh, reverse light. So then when the uh, when I put it in reverse, the uh, reverse lights will turn on and then it'll turn the power on, which the power runs all the way through here, comes here, and then runs through here and it'll turn my screen on, which is pretty nice. And I also have the uh, video connected here. No reason to have any audio or anything. So got my nice little screen here and then uh, it should be good to go. So let's go ahead, mount this here fish this all the way through and start mounting all the camera system and wire into the car. So we are going to get the power from the light and I was using a quarter inch socket. Loosen them up. So now we have everything working, the screen is working, it's going through the cable, and then the camera over there is working as well. So now we just have to feed everything through, get this camera in the spot where we want it, and we'll be good to go. For fishing the wire underneath the truck, I am deciding to go right, on, right with this rail, right under here. You can see there's wires already going all the way down it. So I'm going to zip tie it on those wires and just bring it all the way down until I get to the left side of the door. So I spent a few minutes trying to find a good spot to fish the wire through into the cab. And I actually peeled this part off right here took this off there's just a couple of clips just take it off nice and easy and it comes out and actually right here there's a little rubber gasket you pop it out so I took up the rubber gasket and you can see it's gonna fit there perfectly but I got to go from underneath and then come up there and then I'm gonna wire it all the way through
Now we just want to feed it all the way through here. Pretty simple stuff. Feed it up. So I'm actually going to install the monitor right in here, right on the inside, so then I it's all uh, sealed away, it keeps the OEM dashboard there, and it's really not in the way so like people are looking in and they see I have aftermarket stuff, I like to keep it nice and clean like that, uh, that way. So I'm going to take this out and then get the wire over there and wire it. First thing is just to pull these areas down. I pulled one corner down already and just start moving down and then it'll end up coming out. And then there's a little switch right here. Pull it out. There's two of them, apparently. Boom. Now it's all out and then you can get your uh, wiring through here. I'm gonna wire this, bring it over there and then end up connecting them. Just a quick recap, we have the video output connected, the power is over here, and then it's connected in there. This is the power all the way to the screen that's in here. And then you can see that we have the grounded connector with the black wire that's connected to this. This is for an extra piece, like if you had a rear sliding door or a sunroof, but I don't have any of that, so I'm just taking advantage of this. I actually could find some power with that and I could have powered the unit with this but it wouldn't turn on and off 
with the uh, reverse lights. So that's why I use the reverse lights instead. Now it's basically clean up this wire system, put this part away, and then test it out and make sure it all works. So here's the point of view from the driver's side. You can see we've got the rear, view the rear view mirror and then the rear view camera. And you can see the entire screen, which is pretty nice. You can still set your sunglasses in there, like so. Still closes. You got room for your other ones. Right there, set them in there. Boom, everyone's happy. And the nice thing is I didn't add any screens to the dashboard. That's exactly what I wanted. It looks nice and stock. So we've got the truck in park and we put it in reverse. We've got a nice little camera set up right there. If we put it in park, boom, it's off. You can put it away and forget about it. That's how nice it is. Literally just drop it down, put it in reverse. And boom, you got a review camera right there for you.